Hello everyone, it's James Felino here and we're here for another edition of the Gold Coast Property and Auction Sales Results. Uh, the week that we're going to be covering is uh, the week of the 12th of July up until the 18th of July. Um, and like every week, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the, uh, some of the results under 750,000 and then we're going to go through some of the results that happened uh, over 750 and we'll break it up into northern, middle and southern Gold Coast. Like every week, I like to talk a bit about the auction results Australia wide first uh, and then we'll go into it. So I'll just share my screen for you guys. And let's do that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go straight into it and um, have a look at the auction sales results for Australia. So as you can see, uh, Victoria, New South Wales, uh, still very strong results and um, sales volume for, for both um, states is over the 2,000 properties per week. Queensland, on the other hand, uh, was down at about 71%. So over the last three weeks, we have seen that Queensland's um, results have clearance rates have been dropping slightly, but it's still very strong for Queensland. Uh, just in relation to Queensland, there was 286 scheduled results uh, or scheduled auctions. Um, of the 286 scheduled, um, 88 were sold. Um, and there was the results, there was 88 sold from 133 auctions that happened. So again, there was maybe 130 properties that were either taken off the market or sold prior to auction. It gave Queensland a clearance rate of 71%. And Queensland, again, it did have the third highest sales volume of any of the other states and a lot closer to Victoria, New South Wales and the other states. And it's uh, had 1,362 uh, private sales. So let's go into it. Uh, first one I'd like to show you is uh, this one over here. Um, and we're going to look at this. And this was at 100 Stradbroke Street in Runaway Bay. It was only about 600 metres to the boat ramp. It's a corner block. It was uh, very much a, a block that's maybe lends itself to development. 516 square metres. Had a three bedroom, two bathroom, um, double garage home on the property. Um, and this property sold, as you can see where it is, quite a large property, lovely corner block. And this property sold for 680,000. So good buying for a developer. Uh, we'll move on uh, to this property here. And this was a, a newish home at 250 Christine Avenue in Early Waters. It was three bedroom. Um, and this home here, lovely brick home, ready to move into 400 square metre block. So a little bit smaller than the average block. This home in Burley Waters sold at 710,000. So there are, again, Burley Waters has really jumped, but there are some still some good properties to be purchased. Next one we're going to look at is we're going to head to Narang and we're going to look at this property here at 68 Mortison Road in Narang. They did mention that it was in need of an extensive renovation. It's on 700 square metres. Uh, it was a double storey home and this home sold for the price, really a uh, good price here uh, for someone who's handy, a renovator. This home sold for 492000 Moving on, we're gonna look at a couple of different homes in Helensvale. These homes, the next two are both in the same street. One was at three Meldon Court uh, in Helensvale. This was a five bed, three bath with three car accommodation. Um, quite a substantial home, has a swimming pool, um, has been updated as you can see from the pictures. Narang's probably 15 minutes from the coast inland. And this home um, in Helensvale, a lovely brick home, sold for 730,000. Now in the same street, uh, another property sold at number six. So not too far from this one. This one uh, was another home, single level brick home with solar, 718 square meters. This was four beds, so one bedroom uh, less than the previous home. Two bath, as you can see, pretty clean on the inside. And this home here, same street as the other one sold for five ninety five. dollars So there's a difference in about uh, $135,000 between the two homes. There's a couple more to go through in the lower price category. This one is at 73 Stevens Street in Southport. This was a three bed, two bath, 
home. It has been renovated. This home's currently tenanted at 590 per week. It's on 519 square metres of land. And this home sold for $715,000. And the last home that we're going to look at um, in the lower price range is this home here at 134 Government Road, Labrador. This was a three bed, two bath home. Um, it's on 620 square metres. It has been renovated. Um, and it's on um, this home sold for 645,000. And it was last sold um, just on seven months ago. And seven months ago, it sold for 490. So there was about $155,000 of upside in the last seven months. So um, it did have a reno as well. But uh, again, someone has flipped that property quite quickly. We're going to move on to the higher priced uh, homes and we're going to start with the northern Gold Coast. So the first one that I'd like to show you is this home here. This is in Paradise Point. It's a home on a full block of land, 562 square metres. Brick home. Um, let's have a look at it. It's at 21 Muscovy Avenue in Paradise Point. So as you can see from that picture, <clears throat> not too far from the Broadwater. This home, um, lovely cathedral ceilings, um, is in very original condition. So very original condition. This home here sold for 950,000. We're gonna stay in Paradise Point and we're gonna uh, look at this one over here. So we're gonna look at this one over here and this was at um, 16 Scooter Avenue in Paradise Point. It's not a house. It was actually two two bedroom duplexes. There was a couple of other uh, auctions earlier in the year for duplexes, two on a block, and they were, one went for 1.3, the other one went for 1.5, one did have water views. Um, this one, two two bedders, brick building, very clean on the inside. I have inspected this property, uh, and this property sold really good buying, 905,000. So about 452 per townhouse, um, so uh, per Per dwelling. So really good buying there. The next one that we're going to look at is um, this one here at 112 Sheehan Avenue in Hope Island. As you can see, you've got the water behind you through this park area. It's a lovely double story home. It's got a swimming pool. It's on a big block of land of 809 square meters. Lovely pool. Um, really nice home in Hope Island. Four bed, two bath, double garage. This sold at 870,000, lovely front yard. So anyone with a caravan or a boat, plenty ample room for you. We're gonna move on and we're gonna to go to Southport again. We're gonna look at this one here. This was at uh, 23 Lavina Street in Southport. Again, four bed, three bathroom, double garage home, brick, fully renovated, um, really nice home, really good area. And again, as you can see, it's got lovely views as well. This home in Southport, 844 square metres of land, sold at 891,000. So again, um, for Southport and a home fully renovated, ready to go under 900, really good. Uh, next one we're gonna look at is um, this one over here. This one here is at 17 Condamine Crescent in Helensvale. Big block of land, over one acre, four bedroom, two bathroom with accommodation for six cars. So really big land, really big expansive home with a swimming pool, large garage at the back workshop area, plenty of room if you'd like to plant some veg veggies and so forth. This home in Helensvale sold at 950,000. We're gonna to move to the middle Gold Coast now and there's been some really strong results in the middle Gold Coast. The one that we're looking at now was an auction property over the weekend. This was at 17 Peninsula Court in um, Mermaid Waters. Very big water frontage, 26 metres of water frontage. This is a five bedroom home. As you can see, waterfront, huge block of land, 967 square metres. And this home at auction sold for 1.8 million. Moving along, we're gonna to go to a suburb called Sorrento, which is just at the back of the Isle of Capri. Uh, this was at 19 Pantese Street in Sorrento, three bed, two bath, dual uh, car accommodation with a swimming pool. As you can see from the, from the skyline uh, picture, you can see how close you are to, to the center of um, surface and, and broad beach. This home, 690 square meters of land, fully tiled, 
Uh, again, it's been updated, and this home sold at a million and twenty thousand. The last one that we're going to look at for the um, middle Gold Coast is this one here at thirteen. Uh, where it is? There it is. Thirteen Turtle Street in Mermaid Waters. Another big block of land, nine hundred and thirty-seven square meters, three bed, one bath, with accommodation for four cars, with a swimming pool, brick home. Um, can do maybe with an update. This home sold well priced, nine hundred and five thousand dollars. We've got a few more to look at. Uh, last few that we're going to look at. The first one we're going to look at is um, this one over here at 50, uh, 55 Fifth Avenue, Palm Beach. This is a development site. Uh, the home will, will probably be knocked down to be put two duplexes on it. Uh, it's zone medium density, 526 square metres in Palm Beach. You're only floor, four blocks from the ocean. It's on five, yeah, 526 square metres. As you can see, someone's already next door built quite a substantial three-storey home. This home sold 1,160,000. Second last one we're going to look at is this one here. We're going to go back to Burley Waters. This is a lovely three-bed, two-bath home, swimming pool, lovely brick and tile home again, um, just out the back of Burley, uh, at Burley Heads. Uh, this home here with the swimming pool, 660 square metres. Again, could do with an update, still very original. This home sold for a million and 50,000. And the last one that we're going to look at, we're going to head down to Chugan um, and we're going to be at 22 Marion Street in Chugan. Now, Chugan, when a property comes on the market, they're going like hot cakes. There's, not, um, there's just not much available, not much stock. This was a double storey, three bed, two bath with a single garage home. 592 square metres of land, um, and this home here sold at 975,000. So they're the results for this week. I hope uh, the results have showed you a little bit more about where the Gold Coast property market's at. It's still very much in a really strong cycle at the moment. Um, and, you know, th there are some great buyers out there. You need to be quick, um, but good luck with your property hunting. And until next week, I'll see you then. Have a great day.